Hey guys, welcome back to Cottonwood Hill Farms. So today is uh, March 28th, I believe, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Um, sun shining, it's uh, the first warm day we've had in several days, but uh, got the doors opened up on the shops, kind of nice. But I'm getting to going, or getting to work on this, uh, this 85. And what we got going on here is the PTO clutches in it have been slipping for years and years and years, and it's been sitting for quite a while. Uh, we got the, as you saw in the last couple videos we had on this tractor, uh, got the carburetor rebuilt, had to put a new, uh, what I, I put a new coil on it, put new plugs, plug wires in it, and uh, we got it going. Working, it's, it's running pretty good, but I want to get the PTO clutches fixed so I can start using it. My plan is to uh, possibly use it on the square baler this summer, and then I want to use it to rake hay and then maybe a few other things too. So, uh, now several years ago I talked with a guy, uh, a friend of mine, a Massey dealer down south of here and they had told me that to replace the uh, I'll just kind of show you here to replace the PTO clutches you just had to pull off this back <clears throat> this this back uh, plate right here and you pull the shaft out well I did that and you can't get to the PTO clutches from there and so then I talked to another guy and he had said well you need to split it you split it right here and uh, the, the PTO clutch pack is right in here somewhere well, I got my book here and I'm looking at it and it's not super, it's, it's pretty detailed, but it's still, you know, it's not blown up, but it's showing that the PTO clutches are right here. As you can see, I got that off. And that was a mess. But hey, that's how it works with me. I always make a mess. So the next thing is I gotta get these three point iron arms off, um, drop those down, and then pull that, that top off where the seat is. And uh, that's where the clutch pack should be. So I went back and forth on whether I should separate this or not. Um, and now after seeing underneath, it is, it's connect, it's got a, a piece on there that's bolted on there. So you have to leave this whole assembly together to take it off. And obviously there's some linkages down here I've got to take apart. So that's what I've been kind of working on, but it's really hard to get in here. I'll try and get you down here so you can see. But we got So, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a, there's a cotter key up in there, like right there, it's got to come out, and then I haven't quite figured out on these other ones yet how they come out, but I know there's some, I know there's like two or three things that have to come off here, and that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so, this is where I'm at, I'm, I'm going to be done for today, because I got to get ready to start milking here pretty quick, but... What I got here is there's down in, in these holes are two hex head, uh, it looks like they're 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this valve on and they're seized completely. And so what I'm going to do is uh, tomorrow I'll run into town or we, when I'm in town tomorrow, I'm going to pick up some drill bits. But my plan is to drill the, drill these out, drill the heads off or the shoulder off of them so I can get this valve off. And I don't know, but I'm guessing we'll find out that this tube right here, which is the, uh, that's the supply for the valve, for the hydraulics uh, fluid supply. I'm guessing that tube has a flange or something that's bolted to this and with O-rings that this sits on top of. I'm just guessing it's something like that. Um, so I gotta get this off in order to get that tube loose to get this piece off. And then the more I look at this, it looks like the PTO clutches are down in here. And so, I'm assuming I'm probably going to have to split this thing. I was thinking I might not have to, but I'm guessing I'm going to have to split it. But anyway, the next step is to get this valve off so I can get this whole top 
pulled off and then from there I'll probably probably have to split it once I get this apart I don't think it's gonna be that hard to do it's just figuring out what I got to do to get to get down to the, the clutches so anyway I'll uh, pick up some drill bits and we'll check back in tomorrow Now, for any of you watching that are possibly doing a similar repair where you got to get in here or something of this nature, just an FYI, this linkage right here needs to be removed. I didn't see that because it, it was back behind the, uh, the three-point lift lever, and so I didn't see that. And so that's what I was caught on was this right here. This goes right up into this right here. I don't know if you can see that under there right there in that hole i'm not real sure what that does yet but anyway this has to be removed first there's two bolts here i just popped that out it's not a big deal i bent this a little bit but it looks like i bent i think i can bend it back i don't think i ruined it i just bent this uh flange right here and you can see i kind of the whole thing just kind of bent just a little bit i think i'm going to be fine anyway so the slip clutches this is crazy the slip clutches are underneath here they're underneath this, so I have to split the tractor and pull all of this crap apart, and then I got to pull this. I got to pull this plate off to get to the slip clutches underneath here. I got to pull. I got to disassemble all of this in here, which is kind of crazy to think about, but um, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Anyway, so that's where we're at. I got that up. That that's that's good. I'm glad I did, and without really breaking anything. Now that I see this. Uh, if I would have pulled this out, I don't think I would have had to take that valve off. I think that valve could have stayed on there. Um, and what I did with that valve, I didn't get much of that on there, but I just uh, I just drilled, like I said, I drilled the shoulder off of that, that bolt that was in there and it popped right off. And then you can see this tube that comes up, there was an O-ring on it, that O-ring already came off, but there was no ring on it that held it or that, that sealed it. But yeah, see that tube comes right out. So that, that's dummy. I didn't know that, I wish I would've known that. I could've popped that off and I wouldn't even have to take that valve off. I got that bent back. I just took a, uh, a rubber mallet and hit it a couple times and it, it went right back to where it was supposed to be. So, crisis averted. So real quick, I'm looking down here and I can see where the case is split down in here. And this, this piece right here, this assembly with this output shaft <clears throat> is all coming out of well, the transmission, I guess, or that is the back of the transmission. So when I, I have to split this because then that gets all this out of the way. This valve right here, I'm assuming that's what that is. It's all got to get moved so I can get back in here. All right, so it's uh, it's like a week later. I finally got back on this. I went ahead and stripped her down, uh, lightened up the rear end here. We uh, got the three-point off, fenders, uh, steps, everything. And uh, I'm getting ready to get some... Uh, get some cribbing put under the front here and take some weight off of this right here I'll probably put it right in here and then uh, we got to unbolt all this right here and that's where we're gonna separate it we're gonna get this set down on this uh, it's got wheels so I can move it and slide it underneath here and then I'm gonna use the cherry picker I'm gonna go up over top and use the cherry picker to grab the rear end and lift it so I can slide it back out of the way So I got this, I got it supported down here, got it ready to go. I got it supported here, I threw some bolts in these holes. 
Uh, should be good enough. I don't have to lift this up. We're just balancing it basically. I'm gonna start loosening these up and then uh, we'll get this separated. I'll probably have to, it's probably gonna have to be it for today because it's about time to do chores and whatnot, but uh, we'll just see how much I can get done here. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for today. So it looks like I gotta pull, I'm just guessing here, but uh, from what I can see, I gotta take this piece off and there's one on each side. And I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. Looks like this sump needs clean too. In fact, that looks like it needs a new one. That's in rough shape. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. I'll. Uh, Hopefully tomorrow or the next day I'll get some more time to jump back on this. Okay, so I got these Oops, I got these out. These look just like pins. They slide right in that hole. Now it looks like there's uh, These little linkages. There's one here. I Got to get that out of there There was that tube coming up. I pulled that off and then there was another little linkage that I pulled out here And then obviously this already got disconnected Okay, so we're we're getting there. This is absolutely crazy to me that uh, a wear part would be this hard to get to. Okay, so I think what I've figured out here is this is like this is similar to like a uh, wheel bearing. I don't know how well you guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but underneath. So this has these tabs right here and down down under here you can't see but one of these tabs is bent over into this slot just like you would on a wheel bearing and so this is actually a nut that screws off so I gotta I gotta reach under here and bend that tab back and then unscrew this and this all should come out. I had to pry on this a little bit, but I got it loose. So there's the bearing. <clears throat> Put that down there. So this, I, I've just been working this kind of back and forth on each side. And it's slowly coming out. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. That is the slip clutch pack. So it's kind of hard to see here, but on the in the rear end here, there's a snap ring on that bearing. And it's holding the shaft, and I think I've got to pull that snap ring off in order for that PTO clutch to come out. So I'm going to reach in there, pull that out, and see what happens. All right, so I got the clutch out of there. I still for life we can't figure out why they would bury it this deep in here but engineers you know that's how they work anyway what I did this so the snap ring on the back side of of this right here I told you saw me take that off that's what was holding it in and it was just a really snug fit so what I did was I took this dowel 
this wooden dowel and uh, basically just came around the back side. And you gotta be careful because you only got a little bit of a lip in there. But I just shoved this in here and pounded on that until I got it to push out. And then uh, and then it just ca came right out. And that was the only, I, the other thing I guess you had to do was line up, up, up here, the uh, splines back here. You had to make sure those are lined up too. But uh, it slid right out. And uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. The, the, I called it a valve body that was right here. That's actually the hydraulic pump is what that was. So that has to come out first and then you get to the clutches. So this is the, cl the clutch pack right here. Uh, it's got a snap ring in here that just comes out. And then this whole piece comes apart. And uh, then the clutches are stacked in there. These are the new clutches that I've got here. And uh, so that's the next step. I'm going to take this apart, put that back in there. I found it interesting, though, on the uh, diagram, it shows it backwards. It's showing, it's showing it backwards, the opposite way that it came out. And I'm not sure why. Uh, that's interesting. Anyway, but that's, uh, that's going to be the next video. This, is, uh, this one's getting pretty long here, so I'm going to wrap this up. This has taken me, I don't even know how long I've been working on this, but uh, I've been trying to fit it in here and there. And like today, I only had about 45 minutes to mess with this. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, we appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that kind of stuff. Um, and don't forget to comment. That's right. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to time time pinky. <laughs> yeah, whatever that was. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, if you know somebody else that might like our content, go and share it with them. We appreciate that, too. Um, part two should be coming out here in the next, I don't know, a few weeks, something like that. We'll get this out. And uh, I want to have this tractor back together here pretty quick because we've got some other things we got to get going on, like that, uh, that chopper. we got to get working on it and get everything put back together for it. That cream separator, I just can't get to that thing right now. It's gonna. I was hoping to have it done before this tractor, but uh, spring is just upon us, and I've got too many other things going on. So, anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.